Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are trying to set up a, a, a lab in public cloud. Um, uh, and uh, uh, so far, we have uh, uh, provisioned a server and we have uh, uh, set up MySQL database. We have set up prerequisites. And now we will see how to install Cloudera Manager. So, installing Hadoop using Cloudera distribution is a two step process. First, you have to install using Cloudera Manager. Then using wizard, you can install Hadoop ecosystem on the cluster. Cloudera management is just a, or Cloudera manager uh, is just a management tool where, which provides you the wizards to set up the cluster faster uh, and also to maintain the cluster uh, 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 once the cluster is set up. So it's a two-step process. First, you have to install Cloudera manager, which is nothing to do with Hadoop, which provide all the necessary uh, components to uh, to have wizards and also uh, tools uh, to set up and monitor the clusters okay for that first we need to log into the cluster here i am using uh, a server uh, using aws irrespective of whatever cloud provider you choose you have to connect and the steps from here are same uh, setting up the uh, instance is a little bit different depending upon the public pro uh, public provider you are using public cloud provider you are using but uh, setting up the uh, Cloudera cluster on single node is same irrespective of the underlying uh, uh, cloud provider. Okay, so first we have to install Cloudera Manager. For that, we need to download a um, uh, installer, and for that, you can Google it, or actually you can go to archive.cloudera.com, and we are talking about uh, version five. And we are talking about Cloudera Manager. For that, uh, for that reason, we have to go to archive.cloudera.com slash cm stands for Cloudera Manager 5 because we are using C, uh, distribute, uh, version 5. In that, in this page, archive.cloudera.com slash cm5, there is a directory called installer. Scroll down, you can go to the latest one, and here there is a Cloudera Manager installer.bin which is nothing but a script. So you can right click on this copy link location. So this is the path archive.cloudera.com slash cm5 slash installer slash latest. Okay, I will provide this link as part of the description in Udemy. Um, and if you want to see it here for better quality, I can zoom in a little bit. With better visibility, I will zoom in a little bit for a moment and then we will proceed and download the installer. Okay, http colon slash slash archive.cloudera.com slash cm5 slash installer slash latest. Go to this, right click on this, copy link location and then go to the uh, server which we have provisioned from the public cloud providers and run this wget command and hit enter. So wget is not installed on this um, a, a CentOS based server. For that, we have to first install wget m y install wget, and also we need telnet. Uh, sometimes it is uh, it will help. So we'll install both wget and telnet in one shot. Now both are installed. Now we will run the wget command to download uh, that uh, installer and hit enter. Okay. So once you download it, you can see that here Cloudera Manager installer dot bin, but this file uh, don't have the execute permissions uh, for any of the users. Uh, unless you have execute permissions, you will not be able to uh, run this uh, installer. It's nothing but a shell script, which you need to execute as shell script, which you will see in a moment. Before doing that, let us give the permissions 744 on this Cloudera Manager installer dot bin so that the owner root have the execute permissions and hit enter. Now if you do ls hyphen ltr uh, root owner have the execute permissions. Okay. And here you can say dot slash Cloudera Manager installer dot bin. Again, if the user you logged in is not root, then you have to say sudo space dot slash the installer dot bin file. Once it is done, you hit enter. It will show this blue screen. Click on next. Click on next. Say yes. Next. Yes. 
and now it will start downloading the JDK first and then it will install the Cloud Data Manager. It will take a while uh, to set up uh, the Cloud Data Manager. Now uh, the installation is done and it is asking to connect to this uh, uh, Cloud Data Manager web interface using 7180 port number and this is the IP address. You should not use this IP address. Instead you have to use public DNS and uh, it also gives the username and password so the default usernames are admin and uh, password uh, the default username and passwords are admin and admin okay and also here there is a note that hostname may be incorrect if the url does not work try the hostname you use when remotely connecting to this machine okay because the firewalls will limit uh, people to connect to this uh, using the private ips this is the private ip and it is showing uh, sorry this is the private dns and it is showing the private IP associated with private DNS. Using private DNS, we cannot directly connect. Hence, we have to use the public DNS. To get the public DNS, we can go to EC2 Management Console. So this is the public DNS. You can use this one. Copy the public DNS, paste it here, and the port number is 7180, and hit enter. It will take a while to bring up uh, the cloud, uh, to come uh, to uh, it will take a while for Cloudera Manager uh, to be up and running and once it is up and running we can actually connect to it. For that we can validate using Telnet localhost that's why we have installed Telnet earlier 7180 is the port number. It is localhost. Now it should be able to connect. Okay, so once the server is up and running, the telnet also will uh, tell telnet command can be used whether a particular service is up and running on a particular port or not. And the username is admin, password is also admin by default. Click on login. And now you are in the Cloudera Manager. Okay, so this is how you can set up the Cloudera Manager on any public uh, uh, yeah, any server which is provisioned from the public uh, cloud in this case i have demonstrated using aws but irrespective of the cloud provider once you get access with uh, root or sudo or uh, the steps will be same except uh, uh, small changes when you run the scripts or commands you have to use sudo before uh, the command that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. As part of the next video, we will use the Cloudera Manager wizard and set up all the components related to Hadoop and Cloudera Manager, uh, such as Cloudera Manager agent, uh, to, to have lab for ourselves. That being said, if you like the content or pro if you want to provide the feedback, please uh, 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 give the feedback so that I can improve on the content. If you want to discuss further about big data certifications, please join my LinkedIn groups such as ITVST-BigData or ITVST-Certifications. And thank you. Bye.